Kathy Margolin. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. And today I wanted to talk about the breaking news from the American Association for Cancer Research. There was just a study presented in Chicago, March 31st, 2012, about hormone therapy use and its relation to breast cancer. And I wanted to give you some easy tips on how to balance your hormones naturally. But first, I want to tell you a little bit about the study. It was done by Harvard Medical School, and they studied over 100,000 registered nurses for over 25 years. And the results, they found that the women who were using any type of hormone therapy for more than 10 years had a significantly higher risk factor for developing breast cancer. And if you use hormone therapy for even longer than 10 years, your risks increase from there too. So I wanted to talk about this because so many women are using birth control pills when they're young and then HRT hormone replacement therapy as they get older and go into menopause. And now we're seeing the long-term results from this hormone therapy. And one of the lead doctors, Dr. Wendy Chen, who was a lead researcher from this study, is now saying that women should use hormones for the shortest period of time and the lowest dose possible. But the good news is there really are ways to also help balance your hormones naturally and reduce the amount of estrogen in your body. And I wanted to give you a couple natural tips to do this. So first, start by eating meat that does not have hormones in it, chicken, beef, and pork. The animals these days are raised with a lot of hormones, but you can find hormone-free meat, so look for that. The same goes for milk. Organic milk is hormone-free and that's what you should be drinking if you drink milk. You can also add a powdered green supplement to your diet every day. Something that contains milk thistle or dandelion root is a really great way to help your body reduce the estrogen. Now, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts are another really good option to help your body reduce the estrogen. If you don't really like those vegetables, you could add the supplement Indenol 3, and it does the same thing. Now, drinking filtered water, I think, is very important because we do find hormones in our water supply. And also reducing the caffeine that you're drinking because that's a good way to help your body balance its hormones. Uh, stop microwaving your food in plastic containers because plastic leaches a chemical called BPAs that acts like estrogen in our body. So if you're gonna microwave food, put it into glass. Um, if you're dealing with menopausal symptoms, um, hot flashes, night sweats, there are really good alternatives that are herbal alternatives. I mean, I prefer traditional Chinese medicine and Pacific Herbs has a product called Menopause Relief Herb Pack, which is a safe, natural alternative, all herbal. Herbs that have been used for centuries by women in Asia and uh, is a really great solution to dealing with those menopause symptoms. Now, I hope you'll take a look at the study for yourself and do your own research. So I'm putting a link to the study on this video. And also please tell other women you know. Um, it's, it's this is really important research and it really could be a lifesaver for other women. So thanks for watching and please leave me a comment and let me know what you have to say. Thanks.